Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Aaron, this is Dad.0. I just got something new in today. It's the Apollo Sign Pack Go 27 inch monitor that's portable. We're gonna check it out. All right, so this Apollo Sign Pack Go is a 27 inch monitor packed inside of a suitcase or a briefcase. And you might be thinking, why would anyone want something like this? I will tell you, because it's cool. And not only is it cool, but it's portable. And not only is it cool and portable, it's got unbelievable sound system attached to it. So when you're first looking at this, you're like, okay, it's a huge tablet inside of a briefcase. But when you open it up and you start playing around with it a little bit, you see that it's actually really thoughtfully engineered. Almost all the space in this briefcase slash suitcase is designed for a purpose. And I'll get to more on that in a minute. First, let me show you how this thing works. When you take it out of the box, it looks like this briefcase. Kind of a cream whitish color, cool texture on the top. And this thing is really constructed well. It's made out of really hard, durable plastic. Feels like if this gets banged around in a car or when you're carrying it around, you won't have to worry about it too much. Feels well built. And then you got these two buckles on the bottom that you just snap forward really easily and you open it up and you're met with this 27 inch monitor. There are two gaps for your fingers on either side to reach in and pull this thing up. And the first thing I noticed was just how sturdy the hinge is on this. It's pretty unbelievable how sturdy this monitor is, considering its base is a suitcase. One thing I really like what they did is they put a power slash sleep button and a volume rocker right on the inside of the suitcase. So you can quickly power this on or off and adjust the volume just by pressing these buttons. More on the tablet in just a minute. First, I wanna go through the other aspects of the suitcase. On the inside of the back of the suitcase is where the speakers are housed. And I gotta tell you, the speaker system on this thing is pretty unbelievable. I'm no audiophile, but it has really full sound, a good amount of bass, and it gets super loud. If you're inside, you hardly ever have to have this above 50% volume to fill up a room. If you bring it outside, you can push it a little bit more to fill up a space, but overall, the speakers on this are really good. It also has this protective mesh on it, so you don't really have to worry too much about something damaging the speakers when you're outside. Coming around to the base, again, the base of this and the hinge system that they put in is really impressive. It's very, very stable, considering that this is a portable briefcase. It allows you to watch at different heights, at different angles. You can even rotate this into portrait mode if you want to use the tablet that way. It also has little compartments that you can store things in. For instance, it comes with a remote and a compartment that will easily store that for you. You can also store the power cord or other things like a HDMI player or a gaming controller. Again, this goes back to every part of this briefcase is well engineered and thoughtful design to add some storage compartments around this base where there is some empty room. On the sides of the briefcase are where you have your inputs and they are covered, which is very nice, again, if you're taking this outside. On the side, you have your battery on and off, which is nice if you want to save battery and just use it on the power adapter. You have an HDMI in, a USB Type-A port 3.0, a USB Type-C 3.0 out, and a display port in, which supports reverse power. So a pretty good variety of inputs here. You should be able to connect mostly everything you want to this. On the back, you have your power adapter plug-in. All right, let's get back to this tablet. So again, it's a 27 inch tablet. It comes running Android 12. It is obviously a touchscreen. It has 128 gig SSD, eight gigs of RAM, resolution of 1920 by 1080. It does get nice and bright, just fine. It has Bluetooth version 5.2. It does have Wi-Fi 6. There is a ton of wireless screen mirroring. It has AirPlay, Miracast, DLNA, and Chromecast. And it does have a battery rated at six hours. That's what they quote. I'll tell you what I've been getting in just a minute. Now those are just the specs, but how does it perform in real life usage? In my opinion, it performs very well for such a big tablet. This thing's very fluid. All my touches get registered correctly, and it's been really fun to play with. 
with the quad core chip in here along with the 8 gigs of RAM, everything is very smooth. I haven't noticed much, if any, lag when multitasking, going in and out of apps, everything loads really quick, and even gaming performs really well on this. And I've been able to play most games at really decent frame rates. Obviously with Android, you have the Google Play Store and all the apps to download there. They also have this kind of custom skin that they put on Android 12, which has these different experiences on them. One is what they call immersive mode, which are basically these different landscapes with different sounds that you can put on if you just want to set the mood. They also have a music mode where you can either play things off Spotify or connect your phone to it and play through these great speakers. And then you have this movie mode where you can either mirror your phone or download Netflix or HBO or any of the apps that you love and stream right on this on the go, which is also very nice. And then just like I stated before, you can use these inputs to connect a laptop or a tablet or any of your gaming devices like a Nintendo Switch and play those games on this monitor while you're on the go or while you're outside. And overall, I just really enjoyed playing around with this thing more than I thought I would. I thought this would be kind of a small use case scenario, but honestly, we find ourselves using it almost every day. My daughters fight over getting to use this thing because they love it so much. They can play games on it, they can draw on it, and having that extra space on a huge tablet like this allows them to be even more creative. When it comes to battery life, it kind of depends on how you're using this. If you're playing a bunch of games on this, it seems to get about four to five hours of battery life. If you're doing things like streaming shows or playing music on it, it is more of that six hours that they quote. So I think that six hours that they say is pretty on par. It gets pretty good battery life in my opinion, which is crucial for something that is meant to be portable. You also have a battery life indicator on the front of the briefcase, so you can easily see how much battery you have left. So overall, the experience has been very, very positive. We've really enjoyed our time with this. A couple of things that, I don't know if you call them cons, but you know, some things to take notice. One is the weight. It is over 28 pounds. So not a light setup by any means. Maybe don't let grandma carry it around too much. But yeah, I mean, it's a little bit heavy, but at the same time, that weight also makes it more stable. If you had a super light package, that tablet would be bouncing around, probably wouldn't stay in position. So it gives it a good base when you set it down. So carrying it to and from places might be a little bit heavy, but once you get it there, I think you're gonna really appreciate the weight because it'll keep it more stable. So who is this product for? Definitely families on the go. If you're taking a lot of road trips throughout the year, kind of cool thing to pack with if you wanna play music on or have the whole family play a game together on, maybe watch a show together. Just kind of a cool thing to keep things interesting. And really, anybody that wants to bring some multimedia outside. So whether you wanna play some music on your patio or watch a show on a nice night. And even what we've done, instead of having our kids play on their tablets individually at the end of the night, we'll get together as a family and watch a show in our basement or on a warm night, we could bring it outside on our patio and do a movie night together. And that's kind of the point of this product. It has such a big screen and such a nice sound system so that it can be shared with others around you and bring people together. And for those out there with kids, you probably know how hard it is to get them off their phone or off their individual tablets and do something together. So this accomplishes that. Yes, they're still looking at a screen, which in my view is like, hey, you win some, you lose some. We're still doing something together as a family, and that's what really matters. So if you're interested in the Apollo Sign Pack Go, I'll put a link to their Kickstarter in the description. Make sure you go and check it out. Again, I think this product is really cool, really well designed, and I think you're going to like it a lot. So again, check that out. Thank you guys for watching till the end. Make sure you press that like button, guys. I really appreciate it. So